Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. We're going to talk about Bitcoin news today. In fact, India saw an 800% increase in Bitcoin trading once the Supreme Court announced that they were going to reverse the original regulations that was set up by the central banks of India and allow Bitcoin companies to connect to bank accounts. And so that 800% increase is significant and those volumes have continued to increase. So that's quite significant when you think about India having the world's second largest population of over a billion people. Crypto charity poker tournament is happening tonight. Are you interested in being part of the crypto poker charity tournament or are you interested in just finding out more about the charity? The charity is going to go to COVID-19 uh, assistance and help. And so um, anybody who plays in the tournament and 50% of the proceeds to the tournament are going to go to the COVID-19 charities and then the other 50% is going to go to the winners of the tournament. Plus, just out of an interesting point, Bitcoin Poker and Satoshi Nakamoto. <coughs> In the original white paper that Bitcoin is based off of, Satoshi Nakamoto has made comments about poker. Plus, there was some uh, Bitcoin and poker tournament code written into the original code uh, back in 2008. And so kind of an interesting point. Um, and Bitcoin was originally pumped because of online poker. And so we'll get into that as we get into the news. Should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? We're going to give you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash that like button. It really helps us out. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. So let's look at the Bitcoin prices right now. Bitcoin, before I started the video, all of this was mostly in green. And so in the last couple of minutes, uh, Bitcoin has dropped its price because about three minutes or five minutes ago, this was running around $7,300. And it has, it has dropped down to the $7,200 range, which has put it in the red. <clears throat> and as you can see, the rest of the cryptocurrency market is a combination of reds and greens, just depending on which one you're looking at. Wow, looks like Chainlink is up quite a bit. It's got a very dark green because it's up 16% right now. Now, when I say right now, just so that you know, I was looking to see, I don't see a date here. Anyway, right now is uh, April 9th, 2020 at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. And so that's the time and date for right now. So crypto trading volumes rise in India after banking crisis, COVID-19 lockdown. So it started on March 4th when the country's highest court quashed a Reserve Bank of India order dated back on April 6, 2018, which prohibited banks from providing services to entities dealing with cryptocurrencies. Activities on exchanges immediately picked up. There have been considerable increase in trading volumes on exchanges catering to Indian clients due to the clarity offered by the Supreme Court's ruling, said Ashish Singhal, founder and CEO of cryptocurrency exchange CoinSwitch. And so he's an authority on this because he is the CEO of a crypto exchange. Crypto banking services platform Kasha India noted a spike of 800% in trading volume in the 48 hours following the decision. The platform also registered a volume of 600 plus bitcoins in the first 24 hours, said Kasha, CEO of Kamar Gaurav. Now, the activity on exchanges further improved Yes Bank, India's fourth largest lender, collapsed on uh, March 6 damaging confidence in the country's banking system. So I had not heard about this 
but it sounds like this is the first bank that may have collapsed during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Uh, and and, and ha- hearing about a bank collapse is a terrible thing because that, you know, that's wiping out lots of different people's accounts, wa- lots of people's investments and money and savings and checking accounts. I mean, that's a bad thing for a lot of people. I'm not familiar with Indian law. I don't know if they have any kind of FDIC insurance like we do in the United States um, that protects people's bank accounts in the event that the bank goes belly up. They have that insurance to go to to try and get their funds. But even if they do have that insurance, I know people in the United States, when their bank went belly up, it took them months and sometimes more than a year or so in order to get those funds back from the insurance. So even if the insurance is there, sometimes it's not an easy thing to uh, take advantage of the insurance. And so I hope that all of the people are able to get their money back that that this bank uh, had at the time of its collapse uh, and, and all those different accounts. The nationwide panic triggered by the Yes Bank crisis worked in favor of Bitcoin, boosting Kasha's sales at a daily rate of 250% to 450%, according to data provided by the platform. Traditional markets like equities and bonds panicked in March as the coronavirus outbreak gathered pace across Europe and the United States. India's benchmark equity index, the Nifty 50, dropped by 23% in March while the Indian rupee hit a record low of $77.40 per U.S. dollar. The longer people can't go outside to conduct their business, the more useful Bitcoin should become because it can be sent and received from the safety of one's home. And so India being the world's second largest, most populous country, This is significant knowing that they are starting to see some banks collapse, that their uh, equities in their stock market has taken a hit just like the rest of the world. Um, And also it's significant to see how that's affecting Bitcoin and causing people, people to flock to Bitcoin. And so we may see a dramatic increase in the prices of Bitcoin as uh, we have over a billion people who are suddenly starting to gain steam and gather more and more interest in it. You know, in the past, it was retail investors that had always driven the price of Bitcoin to brand new highs. And to be honest with you, I had always envisioned that it, the, the, the next time around that Bitcoin reached a new all-time high, exceeding that all-time high of $20,000, in my mind, I thought that that would be driven by institutional investors. But it's beginning to look like it could be just retail investors all over as countries like India and China are getting to be more and more cryptocurrency friendly. I mean, with China coming out with their own digital dollar, their own digital yuan, and other countries coming out with their own digital currencies, all of that is going to lend itself to people investing in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. And then with the Supreme Court of India coming out and ruling in favor of cryptocurrency, all of these are significant events that uh, have the potential, and this is my opinion, it's not financial advice, but in my opinion, I think it's going to drive uh, Bitcoin to new highs. So, there is a charity crypto poker tournament with big stacking of sats for COVID-19. The crypto community is rallying around the charge to fight COVID-19 with a variety of initiatives raising money to fight the pandemic and support charities on the front lines of the battle. The most recent online poker tournament opened to anyone and featuring a host of well-known crypto faces. The Giving Block has partnered with a number of high-profile cryptocurrencies and blockchain firms to promote COVID-19, a campaign to raise $100,000 which kicked off with a matching pledge of $50,000 each from Vitalik Buterin and Gitcoin for all donations made in ETH or DAI on the Gitcoin platform. But as the global lockdown continues, Alex Wilson of The Giving Bank said they wanted to do something more 
then simply call for donations and created a live event to bring people together around the cause. We had been looking for a way to celebrate the community's response to our campaign, something that brought people together around the idea of giving. For whatever reason, a lot of people in this business seem to be poker players, said Wilson. So here's a quote from John Lister. We all agreed that an online poker tournament, while many people are sheltered at home, would be a great way to raise money for charities on the front lines of COVID. It's been an incredible it's been incredible to get support from people and companies all across the industry. The giving block quickly roped in a plethora of known crypto fu- figures, including Charlie Lee, founder of Litecoin, Charlie Shrem, founder of the Bitcoin Foundation, Peter McCormick, host of What Bitcoin Did podcast, Joey Krug, chief, co-chief investor, investment officer at Pantera Capital, and core developer at Augur, and Ed Macondo, Mikado, CEO of Blockfolio and a former professional player with a World Series of Poker event title to his name. Wow, we have a World Series of Poker title holder who will be part of the tournament. So this could be quite exciting. The tournament, here's some info about the tournament. It's happening April 9th, 2020, and the tournament is going to be, I thought I saw it on here. Let's let's wait for this to change the graphic. Uh, da, 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 da. I was looking for a time. I believe it's 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's go to tournament details. That's that's. I know I saw it here. There it is. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you're somewhere else in the world, of course, that time will have to be adjusted to your location. The prizes is the final table. All nine players at the final table receive 50% of the prize pool, and then the rest of it will go to charity. They're hoping to have somewhere around 2,000 players in the tournament itself. And so I'll leave a link to that on the YouTube channel in the description if you're interested in trying to attend the tournament. So this is also quite interesting. Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer online poker payment system by Satoshi Nakamoto. If there's one profession well represented among the ranks of wealthy Bitcoiners, it's poker. Many pro players started using Bitcoin to play online in the run-up to the first major price boom in in the late 2013s, and some have huge stacks of coins squirreled away. There are some high-stakes players that have a lot of Bitcoin exposure, he tells the magazine. I know some poker players that are holding Bitcoin worth millions. Brian Mikon, the famed promoter of the first U.S. Bitcoin poker site, Seals with Clubs says there are plenty of players who made more money out of Bitcoin than they did from their poker careers. Absolutely, he says, there were 1,000 coin pots being played in the early days and the ones that decided to cash out and save them changed their whole lives. He laughs and says the flip side of the story is that there were also players who lost 1,000 Bitcoin pots. It was five thousand worth five thousand dollars. So a thousand Bitcoin was worth five thousand cash, five thousand U.S. dollars at that time, and we were used to losing five thousand dollars in cash, but we're not used to losing six million. He says, so kind of interesting, interesting thought. Surprisingly, the relationship stretches back to before Bitcoin, the Bitcoin white paper was released. The original zero point one zero Bitcoin code included scraps of code from an online poker game added on April 16th, 2008. And so I thought this was very interesting that the original Bitcoin code included scraps of code from an online poker game. It raises the intriguing possibility that Satoshi Nakamoto may have been a poker player or at least a poker programmer trying to find a way around the laws introduced two years earlier that banned financial institutions from dealing with online gaming sites. And so the article goes into some more detail. Of course, I'm going to leave a link below in case you're interested in getting more information. 
In the meantime, I want to thank you for listening and watching our video today, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. In the meantime, how can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions or thoughts? Please leave them in the comments below. Um, and always like, subscribe, and hodl.